Shalom, brothers and sisters. I want to start off today by reading a scripture from the Book of Mormon. And in the Universal Book of Mormon, we're looking at Messiah 8, 35 through 47a, 15, 8 through 13. And thus God breaketh the bands of death, having gained the victory over death, giving the Son power to make intercession for the children of men. Having ascended into heaven, having the bowels of mercy, being filled with compassion towards the children of men, standing betwixt them and justice, having broken the bands of death, taken upon himself their iniquity and their transgressions, having redeemed them and sanctified the demands of justice. And now I say unto you, who shall declare this generation? Behold, I say unto you that when his soul has been made an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. And now what say ye? And who shall be his seed? Behold, I say unto you that whosoever has heard the words of the prophets, yea, all the holy prophets who have prophesied concerning the coming of the Lord, I say unto you that all those who have hearkened unto their words, and believed that the Lord would redeem his people, and have looked forward to that day for a remission of their sins. I say unto you that these are his seed, or they are heirs of the kingdom of God. For these are they whose sins he has borne. These are they for whom he has died, to redeem them from their transgressions. And now, Are they not his seed? Yea, and are not the prophets, and every one that has opened their mouths to prophesy, that is not fallen into transgression, I mean all the holy prophets ever since the world began, I say unto you that they are his seed. This is a very long and very interesting passage from the book of Messiah. It outlines the role of Jesus Christ as our Savior. And it also brings up an interesting concept, and that is the people that are the seed of Jesus Christ, the heirs with Jesus Christ. And according to what I just read, these are those that listened to the voices of the prophets. And I would add prophetesses to that. And who are these people that listened? Who are these people who declare the good tidings? Who are these prophets and prophetesses? One way you can read this text to say that the Book of Mormon here is referring to the idea that all those from Adam up until the resurrection of Jesus Christ will be redeemed by him. Because they have been prophesying about him and following him the whole time. However, I want to add that it's also those that lived during Jesus' lifetime and everyone that will live up until the second coming and beyond that accept Jesus Christ. What then are these words of the prophets? Put simply, we could say it's the Bible, it's the Book of Mormon, it's literally any scripture that you find. But we're called to be a prophetic people. And one of the things that John says in the book of Revelation, in John's Revelation in the New Testament, and Joseph Smith mentioned this once also, this idea that anyone with the testimony of Jesus Christ is a prophet. And I would add to that also a prophetess. What does this mean connecting that to what is being said here in the Book of Mormon. I don't think it's just referring to the Scriptures. Because remember, we are called as Latter-day Saints, as Mormons, to be a prophetic people. And I don't think that's new. I think that's what the Lord has always wanted us to be. From Adam and Eve until the end of time, is His prophetic people. And what is the prophecy 
that we utter, that others will hear, that will make them the seed of Jesus Christ, that makes us the seed of Jesus Christ. It's that testimony, the good news of Jesus. Now, I know some people will say, what is that good news? And a lot of Christians will say that that good news is Jesus died on the cross for you. And so because of that, he is atoned for your sins. But it says in here also, those that did not transgress. And that's pretty much impossible, isn't it? We're all going to make mistakes. We're all going to fall short of the glory of God. But we're all worthy of the grace of Jesus Christ. How does that fit? I think Paul taught us this when he talked about the law of love. Against love, there is no law. There's nothing in the Torah that says not to love. So when it says this idea of those that do not transgress, I think this goes back to what Jesus said in Matthew 5. If we want to be perfect, look at the very end of the chapter. Jesus teaches us how to be perfect. Don't just love your friends. Don't just love your family. Don't just love the neighbors that you know, but love your enemies. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the law of love. It's not a law of violence. It's not a law of condemnation. It's a law of love. We are to love one another. We are to be kind to one another. We are to give our burdens over to Jesus Christ. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. We're not supposed to keep tabs and go after our enemies. We're supposed to love them. So if we are the seed of Jesus Christ, if we are Christians, if we are Latter-day Saints, if we are Mormons, what does that mean? Well, my message for you today is this. It means that we are a people of peace. We are a people of hope. Here in the fellowship, we got together as a council recently. And we worked together to create a mission statement, a value statement, and a vision for the fellowship, for the Council of 50. Our mission is what it is we're trying to accomplish. It's, it's what we're doing right now. Our vision is where we're going. It's where we believe our mission is taking us. And our values is how we plan to do it. And brothers and sisters, I want to share this with you because if you consider yourself to be a member of the fellowship, these are our values and I hope that you can take them to heart and I hope they can be your values as well. We are to represent Jesus Christ through our service. We are to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ through peace. We are to organize in the name of Christ through our example. We are to assist others through our actions. And we are to unite mankind, all Christians, all of the seed of Abraham through love. Now, this may seem like a very simplistic perspective. But you'll notice that everything we have on here is what we're trying to do and how we're going to do it. And I would like to invite you to be a part of this as well. I would like to invite you to be a part of this prophetic people, to invite people to Jesus Christ by living this law of love. If this video has helped you in any way, please like it. Please share it. Please get it out there so other people can find and see it. We have this message of hope that we want to share with the whole world and we need your help to get it out there. If you find this message of hope useful, please be sure to subscribe to get more videos. If you'd like to learn more about what we're trying to do, you want to learn more about our mission, our vision, and our values, check out our website, cjccf.org. If you have questions about what we're doing, perhaps you'd like to get involved, info at cjccf.org. We are meeting nearly every night at this point. Learning in the School of the Prophets, growing together in the grace of Jesus Christ, learning from, from one another how to be a prophetic people and how to get this message of hope out there into a world that desperately needs it. We want to invite you 
to come and see. So until next time, shalom and God bless.